If you think about sustainability, cities today are crucial. If you want to remember just four numbers about cities, well, we can remember 2, 55, 75 and 80. Cities are only 2% of the surface of the planet, but they are 55% of the population, 75% of energy consumption, 80% of CO2 emissions. So if we can do something to make our cities a little bit more sustainable, well, that can be a big deal global. What can we do? Well, today there's an interesting condition. The condition is that um, we could say that the internet is becoming internet of things. So networks, sensors, actuators are entering the physical space, the space of the city, and hence are changing the way we understand cities through data, the, the way we can analyze cities, the way we can design cities, and ultimately, the way we can, we can live in them. We should also be aware of some of the, the, the difficulties in doing this. And so, you know, the first difficulty is that we need to have many, many different disciplines working together. You know, it's not only about architecture and planning. We need to look at technology. We need to look at people who know how to deal with data, with sensors, with actuators, and also, of course, about the social sciences. Somehow you could see the city at the intersection of the following three vectors. The design vector, the technology vector, and the human vector crucial, very, very important, and that's related to the social sciences. So one of the first things we need to do is actually be able to work together. And that's not easy, because our cities, our universities, our research centers, today they're still silos. So different disciplines don't talk to each other.